Nearly a hundred amazing young athletes pushed to the limit. You can't help but be in awe of all of them. On the girls' side, I think we've come to the conclusion that there was one athlete that really stood out head and shoulders above the rest. Our great honor, Karina and myself, our great honor. Uh, to call up Avalon Westmies from Campbell River, British Columbia. This 19 year old's life is about to change. We've come to Victoria to check in on Avalon. Everyone at the University of Victoria's rowing team knows she's a special athlete but a last minute decision to compete in RBC training ground made her believe it too. Like I literally decided the night before to go to qualifiers and I was like, oh, okay, sure, I'll just go for fun. And then I ended up winning. So I was kind of shocked. I was like, oh really, <laughs> me? Maybe the reason she was so surprised is because she started rowing less than two years ago. You see, Avalon grew up cross country skiing and made it to the junior national level but she was raised in a family of rowers. My mom was a rower. She was in the Olympic team for 1984, 1988. My aunt was a rower. My dad was a rower, both my siblings. Like, it's just in the family, I guess. For years, Avalon resisted her mom's pleas to follow in her footsteps. And I'd always just laugh, I'm like, no, mom, like, I, <laughs> I will not do that. Skiing is the perfect sport for me. But then once I made that decision by myself, I just immediately got excited and I haven't looked back. Since winning RBC Training Ground, Avalon is looking to the future. She's working with Rowan Canada on developing a roadmap for herself. What I feel like has happened for Avalon in the last couple months is that she started to really put some detail to that pathway. And I think that's the coolest thing about this event and about this project. Through RBC Training Ground, Avalon now has access to specialized training and coaching, as well as financial support to become a full-time athlete this summer. It's also given her the belief that she can be an Olympian one day. It did make me, you know, like, okay, I can do this. Other people think I can do this. So I, I'm more dedicated, I feel like now, to push myself. It's been a dream one day to go to the Olympics. Given all the feedback I've gotten from other people, like coaches and family members, I definitely feel like I'm on the right path. And I've personally been enjoying it a lot.